Yeah. What up everybody? We have made it to the campsite. And they're over here setting up the camper, or not the camper, setting up the tent. Mainly because I have no clue how to set up a tent. So anyway, everybody say hi to Jimmy and Braxton and Drew. And we're about to go to the Southern 500. Whose hat are you wearing? I'm wearing the Kenseth hat that you gave me. So uh, official predictions, I got Carl Edwards. Jimmy? I think Carl Edwards. Jimmy's got Carl. Uh, Braxton, what do you think? We're going to have some fan goggles here. I say Kenseth. He's Ken's big Kenza fan. He's got that ugly shirt. I got my titties out. And uh, <laughs> hey, Drew, who do you think is gonna win? Matt Kenza or Dick Woodman? All right. So we got uh, what? Two Kenzas and two Carl Edwards. So we're leaning heavy on the Toyota. So anyway, we're out in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna pick this back up at the track. Okay. So we have made it. We've made it to the track. Uh, all our stuff is in the truck, so we're going to have to go back and get it eventually. But for right now, we're just kind of chilling out and walking around. There's not that many tents over here, but there's probably more other places. None of us have been to Darlington before, so we don't quite understand the layout. But there's probably a lot of stuff out on the uh, front stretch side. We're on the back stretch side right now where the main museum is, from what I remember. But, uh, yeah, mostly tailgating stuff out through here. Drew vaping right in front of the camera. <laughs> and Confederate flags, not as many as there was at Charlotte. So yeah, let's see if I buy anything. Look down here at this big, huge, mega crowd coming in. It's crazy. We're here in the Ford area. We got this real cool looking car right here. Joey Logano. We got the little Team Penske thing on the back. We got the Hooters Greg Biffle car right here. It looks really cool. Oh, and Brad Kozlowski. And then Brad himself. Hey Brad, I don't have a question. I just think you're pretty awesome. Because I got a picture of you in Kansas because we follow you there all the time. Thank you for coming out here, and you're a long ways from Kansas, so we're glad to have you here. <laughs> we'll, we'll be there soon. Yeah, we will. We'll be there in about four or five weeks. Yeah. We'll be there. Coming up. I love to see you there. Thank you. Hey, Brad, this is on Bruce, and I was just wondering if you're like most of us fans when you watch NASCAR and they have like 10 hour rain delays. Do you think it'd be a good idea for NASCAR to look at the weather sometimes to start racing like 10 o'clock? Yes. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hurricanes <laughs> yeah, I, I hear you. There's some different things that come up from time to time that you try to stay in front of it. It seems like there's always some outside forces that keep you from doing everything you want to do there. But uh, I don't. I know one thing. I don't want their job. I'm happy driving a race car, and you, you know it's it's easy. I think for me to armchair quarterback and say, why did you guys do that? And uh, then. They, they, you know, you sit down in the room and they explain why, and you go, oh, yeah, you guys go ahead and handle that. I'll just get back to driving. So, yeah, it's, it's interesting. You've come up with a lot of good stuff today, and you mentioned I'm your quarterback. One of the things that I love to read is when you do a blog post. You, you, you put a lot of thought into your blog post. How did that start? How often do you do that for the fans that may not well, check it out? Well, how did it start? I got tired of somebody in the media would ask me a question. I'd give them like a really long answer and like here's what, you know, da 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 and then they would take like one sentence out of it and that would be the article, you know, and it, it drives me crazy whenever you read an article or see an interview and it gets cut to like one sentence because usually like you can take that sentence and you can make it anything you want. You, know, you can make it like Brad disagrees with NASCAR. It could be something as simple as, well, I think the, the restart rule is good here, here, and here, but this one area needs to be fixed. And next thing you know, there's a headline, Brad Keselowski, major rip with NASCAR. Like, <laughs> like, God, no, that's not what I said. And then you get a call from NASCAR, and they're calling you, and it's, what's wrong? What are you doing? Why are you saying that? And then you go, you know, just go crazy. Um, yeah, what, yeah, but it's not that I agree with everything. And there's a lot of things I do agree with, with the sport and things that are going on. It's just, for whatever reason, the little things I don't agree with get blown up. So, you know, that's how it started answer your question Mike so that I couldn't be quoted out of context and then it grew into like people actually read it and thought it was good so I kept going. I love it when you post. How often do you do it? Uh, it's been about once a month, once every two months. Sometimes I get lazy and it gets a little bit longer than that but uh, 
when I get fired up about something, it's usually when I do it. So it's awesome. Final question comes from this young lady right here. Um, I bought some stuff. Let's just get the stuff out here. I bought this Chase Elliott diecast. And I bought this Kale Yarborough shirt. So I got the Kale Yarborough shirt, I got the die cast. That ran me about 80 bucks. They're chilling over there, we're getting ready to go in. It's gonna be fun. Y'all wanna know what the best part of uh, coming to a race at Darlington is? We are literally in somebody's backyard right now on a swing set under a gazebo which earlier I called a cussebo, and I was like, wait, that's not right. And we're just sitting here chilling in somebody's backyard. Try doing that at Indianapolis. Okay, we have made it. But as you can see, it is very beautiful. There's turn three and four. There's turns one and two. Can't quite see the finish line from here, but we got a screen over there. We can watch them come through and around and then back through that way. This is going to be Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney. That's not Ryan Blaney. I wish you were Ryan Blaney. All right, now, here comes the real Ryan Blaney. Not that imposter. That's not Ryan Blaney. Is that Ryan Blaney? That's not Ryan Blaney either. 38 nice! Is is oh Clint Boyer? He's not Ryan Blaney, but he is Clint Boyer. I think we missed Ryan Blaney. Clint Boyer, woo! Your drink tastes like battery acid, but it keeps me awake. Yay! I'm gonna keep filming until I see Ryan Blaney. I think we missed him. We're gonna have to wait like 20 minutes for the race to start. We'll see him eventually. Oh, that's not Ryan Blaney. Is that Greg? No, no. From far away, that looked like the Hooters thing. 13, that's Casey Mears. Casey Mears. 10. We're going to see what he's wearing. Oh, who's this? Who's this? Oh, that's, hey, Richard Petty. Hey! He's got a GoPro on his cowboy hat. That's awesome. It's like a static of Patrick. Uh, we're, we're cheering for Richard Petty. We're, we're not cheering. Hey. You're getting leftovers. <laughs> we're still cheering for Richard. Yeah. Oh my God, there he is. It's, it's Brian Blaney. Man Crush Monday on a Sunday. It's Brian Blaney. <laughs> Ryan! I have one of those trucks. Woo! I love you more than Harambe. Oh, is, is Daryl Waltrip going to be with Matt Kenseth? Is Daryl Waltrip? Is that him? Yeah, that's, that's, yep, yeah, that's Daryl. That's Daryl. Oh, boogity, boogity, boogity! Boogity! Jimmy Johnson! We're gonna get a good view of all the things. Hey, that motherfucker's treat. He's got the treat.
going to, they're getting the green black this time, Braxton. It's real. Come on, drop the rag. Let's go. Coming in this time. Awesome. Because somebody wrecked, and I can't. I don't really. I didn't know who it was. I, I don't know. I, just, I, I just saw him. Yeah, I saw him just kind of lose it out of two. the Coke 600 when he won, and the three of us are here now when he won. So we're just Martin Truex's good luck charm. Hey Braxton, guess what we are, Drew. Guess what we are. We're Martin Truex Jr.'s good luck charm. How many races have we been to this year? Four races. Four races. Two. How many has Martin Truex won? Two. Who won the other one that I went to? That would be Kevin Harvick who finished in second. Junior. Yeah, but you didn't go. Like you went to that one on Sunday and it got rained out. We've been to it. Look, the three of us have been to two full races this year, and Martin Truex Jr.'s won both of them. Jimmy wasn't at the first one, but he's here, so maybe he's part of it too. But anyway, those those are cool fireworks. Same guys won both races that we've been at. Isn't that crazy? And the same guy wrecked the whole time. And the same guy wrecked the whole time, Brian Scott. We gotta come to to Brian Scott for being the best race car driver in the NASCAR circuit of all time. He's really doing Richard Petty a favor. You know when people complain about Martin Truex Jr. choking? Not when we're in town. All right, well, I'm gonna end this vlog right here. Hey guys, what'd you think of the race? Did you like it? Was it a good race? Yeah. The guys in front of us had a great time. Drew? They had more yeah. fun than all of us put together. Uh, they had smoke now, but that's okay. Everybody say something to end the vlog. Jimmy, you go first. Okay. Drew? God, guns, and beer. Right. Lung cancer is a beautiful thing. All right, my, mine's going to be Martin Truex Jr. You owe us like a steak or something because we've been to two of your races this year and you've won both of them. So that's the end of this vlog. Peace.